Hi, my name is Noah Sos. I'm here at the University of Arkansas from the Housing Department. Uh, I'm an IT technician here with the ResNet team. I'm behind us on the camera is. Yeah, uh, Christopher Spencer. I'm the Assistant Director for Marketing and Strategic Communications, and we're doing our series of UARC Home Lives. And we invite you to tell us where you're from, uh, what you're excited about when it comes to moving here, and uh, any questions you have for, for Noah or myself about the services that we offer here at University of Arkansas Housing. Noah, what do we need to know about services? Okay, so first off, first service, biggest service everybody wonders about is internet, right guys? So we're gonna start out with ResNet. ResNet, I currently work with the residential network team. Okay, this is separate from central IT on campus. So if you have any issues inside of housing, whether it be your internet, anything needs connections, TV, phone, just say it doesn't work. You can contact us, we're here to help you, okay? So first things first is if you ever need anything from us, you have a, the ResNet page here at the University of Arkansas. It's housing.uark.edu forward slash ResNet. Okay, and here is where you can find everything you need, whether it be documentation for how to connect a certain device, whether it be rules and regulations depending on what you can and cannot use on the internet, or if for some reason you're stuck, you can make a ticket here. And that ticket process is your room number, specific information that we need from you, which you can also find directions for here on the ResNet website, and everything else that you really can think of. Um, it will also have other information on here, such as registering your device. So, some of the devices here at the University of Arkansas, like specifically in your room, need to be registered. Which uh, ones? <laughs> specifically, um, anything like sometimes your TV, if, if for some reason it doesn't connect, that needs to be registered on the internet. Sometimes gaming consoles, depending on what happens with them. Really, if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out. We're always here to help you. Uh, specific devices act up from here and there. Um, other than that, um, there are two separate Wi-Fi's here on campus. Now, the difference between being the UARC Wi-Fi, which you will see when you come in here, is going to be mainly for your stuff that you take to class. Your laptops, your phones, anything that you really need to leave the building that is going to be useful will be registered to that. Now, anything staying in your room, whether that be, again, like straight desktops, anything of that nature being your Xbox, PS4, TV, that will go to the UARC Housing IoT Wi-Fi. Now again, you'll see that when you come to campus, but that's basically going to just be the stuff that stays in your room that's authorized to be on that Wi-Fi. Now phones, laptops, and other things will not work on that Wi-Fi. They're specifically made so you can have those accommodations in your room. So two different internets, essentially, two different networks. Exactly. And and it's based on what device you're going to be logging on with. Exactly. Okay, okay. Um, and last but not least, um, you are actually allowed to have a printer here in your room. Now, it won't be able to connect to the Wi-Fi. There is no Wi-Fi connectivity for them. But as long as you bring a USB cable and you plug it in your computer or docking station, depending on what computer you use, then it will actually run perfectly fine. And that will work. Yeah, so. yeah. Printers are, printers are good. You've got you to gotta print out some paper every now and then, of course. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so next thing we'll hop into, I guess, is fix it, right? Yeah, so, let's talk about fix it. Fix it, right? So fix it's going to be mainly for your maintenance. Right. It's not having to do with my team. It'll be maintenance for your specific building. So you go to the Fix It website here at, from housing, again, housing that you're paid, you, and you'll make a ticket specifically for the maintenance. So you'll put in your description of what's going on and anything that's really broken in your room, whether it be a drawer, door, anything of that nature, they will be able to help you with that. Even like a curtain. Yeah, or, um, curtain. Yeah, those things are oftentimes done. Exactly. Uh, changing a light. Changing the light, doing anything of that nature, they're yeah. here to help you. So you're able to go in there and describe what you need, and they will show up at a reasonable time to help you with that. Now, yes, if say you are not in your room, and they do end up coming in, they will leave you know that they've been there. They will also ask for permission before coming in, but they do have the right to do so. So just remember, if you put a ticket in, they have the right to come into your room. Right. Did you ever use it? I did, yes, actually. Yeah? I'm a recent graduate here from the university, but um, when I stayed in the dorms, the two years I did, um, I stayed at Dohi and Walton, and both were great. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on where you are located in the building and what building it is, there's different procedures for maintenance, obviously, depending on the different things they have in those buildings. But the ticket system works the exact same. So, yeah, cool. Um, I guess the next thing we should probably get into mm -hmm. would be your guys' laundry. Um, so, laundry here is very simple. Uh, every week, you get two free washes and two free dryers. After that... Each wash past that, you do need to pay $1.50 for it. That being said, always bring your phone to the washing machine room, just in case. You don't need coins, don't need any cash, nothing nothing like that. Nobody really cares that much anymore. Anyway, just bring your phone with you. Make sure you have the Speed Queen app, okay? And again, you can find that on 
the housing that you worked at edu website they'll be able to help you with installing that but if you have any questions again you can also contact resnet and that app if i recall will show you in your residence hall which buildings which uh, machines are open and it'll also ping you when you're done. Of course, yeah. It will let you know when your laundry's done, how much longer you even have left on it, and you can continuously get uh, real life updates from it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, let's see, did you have the laundry system when you were here? Uh, for my, the two years I was here, actually I did not. Okay. Uh, it was a different system at the time. So yeah, sure, sure. Really, it just transitioned. Typically what we hear is that the two washes and two dries a week serves people pretty well. Oh, yeah. That tends to cover things, but you know, if you wash a whole bunch, then you might have yeah, to. Yeah, if you have a lot of laundry, hey. Cool. Free. Yeah. Um, next, I guess, would be mails and packages. You are allowed to get your mail and packages here at the University of Arkansas. You're living here, so you need it, right? Um, depending on the building, it works in separate ways. I'll use my example, okay? When I lived in Walton, Walton, you can get a mailbox. Now, the female and male side of the dorms are completely separate. The female side in Walton will get a key, and the male side will get a combination code for their mailbox down to the front desk. But that being said, most places will still have combination locks for you, mm -hmm. being that quads, the maples, everywhere, you'll be able to get into your mailbox. And I think that um, at this point, you would have a personalized mailbox, a PMB at this point. Yes. So you log in to uh, the housing portal, go to My Details, and you can find your PMB, of which course. is your address. Yes, and you'll be able to find your PMB as well as your combination code. Don't show that to anybody else that is your combination code, but that will be able to let you get to your specific mailbox. Top secret. Yes. yes. Um, packed wise, depending on the building, you may have to go to a separate building to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Now, Dohi, Pomfret, all of them get packages to their building, but buildings again like Walton, you do have to go to a separate building to get your packages as there's not a continuously manned staffed front desk. But besides that, all of your mail should come to your building. Very cool, very easy. Very okay. easy. Um, I think last but not least would be like helpful services. Yeah. Um, printing here at the University of Arkansas is the print services. Now, those print services, you'll go to print.uark.edu. You'll be able to input whatever document you really want, mm -hmm. you know, print, document, docx, PDF, whatever. It will go in there and it will be able to be loaded up to the server. Then what you'll do is you'll go to a print station. In our building specifically, we have one in Adobe and one in Pomfret. But Morgan also has a entire lab for you to go and do this at and a few other buildings as well as around campus. The union, I think, has one too? Yes. And they all work together. They're all on the same server. So no matter which one you go to, you'll be able to print at. So you upload it. As soon as you upload it on there, either be on your phone right next to the station or your computer back in your room. And then you'll walk over to the station. You'll log in with your UR credentials. You will have a, I believe it's a $35 allowance, allowance every, semester, every semester, maybe. And that sounds like a little like a little amount, but trust me when I tell you, you'll probably never use all of your right. allowance. Um, with that being said, you'll be able to print from those stations, whether it be color, black and white. Some have colors, some don't. So. Yeah, yeah, it's very convenient with that. Um, yeah, what, other, some, what are some other helpful services uh, here? for you guys specifically with IT? Mm -hmm. uh, just keep putting this out there. Housing IT mainly does residential stuff, right? But we can't actually reset your passwords. That will be central IT. So if you go to its.ur.edu, you'll be able to sit down and actually go to their help desk uh, portal as well if you need any help with your password, email. They also have a number, okay? Now, I will mention this. The number for the help desk is the exact same as ours. It's 479 Five seven five two nine zero five. Okay, the help desk for central IT will be passwords, emails. It's going to be option number one. For us specifically at Resnet, we will be option number three. And if you need Blackboard help, I believe that's also option number one. Okay, so it goes to a central number, but then they can talk to you or someone on your exactly. staff pretty easily for help that they need. Um, also on that website, its.uark.edu, mm -hmm. you'll see a call out for students. And you've probably been through several of the steps already. Do you mind pulling up that page? Of course. You've probably been through it already, but there are some things on there that you might find helpful. Um, we're letting it load. As it's loading. Yes, as it loads. Um, things like, uh, I think, um, let's see, different technological services. You get up at the top, it says students. Yes, yeah. you are yeah. a student. So then you scroll down, and cybersecurity, working remotely, keep scrolling down, uh, Blackboard Learn, you will learn all about Blackboard if you are here. Printing, like you just mentioned, and software. There's certain software that you have access to. Um, and then buying tech, there are some discounts through our bookstore. And Student Technology Center. Yeah, all those things to be aware of. Have you ever been to the Student Technology Center? I have actually, yes. It's, it's a very, very nice building. If you guys need any help, whether it be tech, 
they got a lot of tutors there. Anything really, mm-hmm. go to that building. They want to be able to help you with all of it. I feel like they do some esports there too. They do, yes. So all kinds of fun stuff there. Basically everything. Yes, yes, yes. Well, again, it's a great time to ask Noah any questions you may have about yeah, our services. Yeah, If you have any questions, is questions about internet. Uh, my experience. If y'all want just the experience of the room, feel free. I, yeah. I lived on campus for two years. I lived in Adohi and Walton specifically. So if you guys are going to be in those buildings, feel free to ask. Well, maybe we'll take a moment. Do you remember, can you cast your mind back to when you were a first year student and what it was like to arrive? It's going to be a little weird, especially for y'all, right? Uh, this was four years ago for me, but it was also during the pandemic. So oh, my freshman year started sorry. in 2020. So your, my freshman year is not going to be anything like yours. Right, right, um, right. It was That's a lot true. more locked down. But housing was still basically the same. The only difference was, of course, we had to separate six feet apart and make sure that, you know, we weren't being in contact with each other too much. Right. Um, Luckily, those times are gone now. We can exactly. all be very, very uh, closer to each other. So exactly. I think the more uh, same style that you guys will be getting, but I was my sophomore year when I lived in Warren. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if there's going to be students in here that live in Walton. Uh, personally, Quite my favorite dorm. But hey, why not? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I had a great experience on campus. I liked it. Um, any IT problem was easily handled. And at that time, I was already working for ResNet. So we are some student technicians. Uh, most of us are students. So Yeah. Uh, do you remember when you kind of connected with other people on campus, like your first year? Or did you go to any of the RSO things? I tried or... to go as many, to, as many as I could. Yeah. Especially during COVID. There's not many times that you can technically leave your room to go talk to people. That's so it was, right. It was a big difference. Such an between. anomalous year. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, thank you. Thank you, Noah. Um, here's a question mm-hmm. uh, from Key Bear. I say, Walton, where does my mail get sent? Of course. So depending on packages, right? Mm-hmm. With your letters, it's going to go straight to your PMB. Again, women's side will have a key that will be granted to you when you get pick up your keys, and the guy's side will be a, a combination. So Which you'll okay. share with a roommate, I think. The, the PMB? I believe so. You'll yeah. be sharing it with um, with that being said, all of your mail, flat mailers, anything will go straight to your mailbox. Mm-hmm. Any letter specifically. But anything in packages like Amazon, UPS, FedEx, anything that comes that way will actually be picked up up in Gregson. So you just yeah. walk up the hill, there's a staircase right behind the wall. You'll walk straight up that staircase, you'll go pick it up and you'll walk straight back to the door. Yeah, thank you for that question. We've got another one that's come in from Michelle. Uh, when can we be able to get access to connect our devices to the internet on campus? So as soon as you show up. Okay. Yeah. So as soon as you guys get your UR credentials being username and password, you're automatically allowed to connect to UR Wi-Fi. Now the housing IRT, like I said, will be locked down, so you can't use housing IRT until you're in the building. Okay. Yeah. But as soon as they are on campus physically, they can start to connect with that stuff. Yep. You have full permissions to do what you need to do. Yeah. Okay, great. And just a shout out to getting your, uh, uh, your card, your student ID. Yeah. Be sure you get that as soon as you can, because that also unlocks a Memorize lot of things that for number. you. <laughs> yes, yes. Great. Well, thank you for the questions. If we'll hang out for another moment or two. We're here in Hots Hall, which is actually one of our showrooms. I don't yeah. know if any of you have been here and here before during a tour, but I'll give you a quick little 360 of this one. This is just our showroom that we use for touring. I put a couple things on the bed there. But... All right. Well, no, any, any final thoughts for these incoming students? Make sure you memorize your username and password. Mm-hmm. If you do need help at all, especially in housing when you're here, do not hesitate to call us. There's a lot of students that get really frustrated with the internet and they don't seem to know what to do, mm-hmm. but they don't want to be that person to contact IT. Don't worry about it. That is our, literally our job. Be that person. We are, be that person. We are here to help you. Um, if you have a problem and you do need a ticket, don't be afraid to do so. Um, it will be one or two technicians that will show up to make sure it's working. If you have an internet problem, you can always walk in with us as well. Um, again, our contact information is going to be either at the housing.uark.edu forward slash resnet. Uh, you can contact us at resnet at uark.edu or again, 479-575-2905, option number three, and that will grant you basically the phone call with us. <laughs> nice. Thank you. A couple more final questions came in here. Of course. Um, Keys asks, are we allowed to have air fryers? And I think the answer to that is no. I do not know the question, but I'm going to guess that it's probably yeah. no. If you check the handbook, um, if you go to the you are, or go to housing.ur.edu and check out the handbook, you're going to find a section that's going to say what you're not allowed to bring. And I yeah. do believe air fryers are not allowed. Um, um, Brittany Chap asks, uh, when do we get keys? Uh, when we pull up to for move-in or before parking? You will get keys after you get into the parking lot during the arrival phase. You walk and yep, you walk up to a table. 
you will give them your student ID and they will give you your key. That's how that works. So almost immediately when you arrive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. How high is it to the bar in the closet or are there more specific um, uh, sizes for closet? Um, I would say, I mean, I'm happy to open up this closet that you see. We didn't bring any of our um, measurements here, measurement tools, but you can certainly see that's what a closet looks like on the inside. Um, and they all differ depending on, like, these are the cabinets that they, they have do. in many of the different buildings. But they'll differ between this, Walton, and Adobe. They all have different lengths depending on where you're living. So. Right, right. That's absolutely true. Um, got a question about how will early drop-off work? And early drop-off is for Arkansas students and started, or will start very soon. Mm -hmm. um, on our move-in website, there's a page dedicated to it, and you can find it under FAQs. And that'll give you all the information you need in terms of exact dates and that sort of thing. So that's a service that we offer for Arkansas students to come and drop off their things early, kind of make move-in a little easier for themselves. Um, Caden asks, is it smart to buy Ethernet for the dorm rooms? Yes. So actually, I'll mention this. Every room, every room will have a white box. Now, mm -hmm. this is going to be your internet access point. If it has two green lights on it, you're good to go. If one is flashing, please contact us. We have to do something for you. Besides that, depending on where you're going to be, whether you're in the quad, it's going to be on a little stand with an internet cable plugged into it, with an ethernet cable. Keep that plugged in. That's how you're getting internet to it. If it's mounted to the wall, you're good to go. Now, all these on the bottom will have Ethernet, Ethernet ports. I believe you have up to four. Um, in the quads, you only have three. Um, and you can plug Ethernet into anything. I personally recommend Ethernet for your TVs, consoles, mm -hmm. anything that you're going to really be bringing to put down. It's going to be a lot easier for consistent Internet than just having it go off Wi-Fi. There are a lot of people using the Wi-Fi here. Even with your own access point, sometimes it gets a, you know, a little slower sometimes. It's how Internet works, guys. Um, but besides that, make sure if you do have like a TV, I personally recommend Ethernet. And I've heard students oftentimes when they're taking tests will use the Ethernet yes. to have that reliable connection. Yeah, if you're doing a remote test, whether it's on a system that you'll learn lockdown browser or just through Blackboard itself, if you're doing a test that's going to take time, I recommend using Ethernet on your PC. Right. And it's easy enough to just plug it in and pull it out, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to do much besides So you screen. and your roommate can share it pretty easily even if there's not an extra port. Okay. Well, great. Well, thank you so much. A lot of great questions. We're excited about you coming in August, uh, which is, gosh, only three weeks away. Oh, that's pretty close, right? It is. It is here. It is here. All right. Everybody take care, and we'll see you for our next um, uh, You Are Home Live. Have a great afternoon, y'all.